Manuel Manny Bamba Vr Jr., born December 13, 1949, is a Filipino billionaire businessman. He has been a Philippine senator and the president of the Nationalista Party. Vr was born to a middle-class family in Tondo, an impoverished and densely populated district of Manila. After graduating from the University of the Philippines, he worked as an accountant and financial analyst, then launched a highly successful business in real estate. Biar's companies have built over 200,000 homes, and his business career made him one of the country's wealthiest persons. Biar entered politics in 1992 when he was elected congressman representing the district of Las Piñas Muntinlupa, and later became Speaker of the House of Representatives. As Speaker, he presided over the impeachment of President Joseph Estrada by the House of Representatives in 2000. In 2001 he was elected senator, and served as Senate President from 2006 to 2008. He was the candidate of the Nationalista Party in the 2010 presidential election, which was won by Benigno Aquino III. Early life and education Manuel Bamba Vr Jr. was born on December 13, 1949 in Tondo, an impoverished and densely populated district of Manila. He was the second born of the nine children of his parents in a poor family. His father, Manuel Maining Montalban Vr Sr., was a government employee from Cabachuan, Iloilo who worked as an inspector for the Bureau of Fisheries. His mother, Carita Curing Bamba, was a seafood vendor from a poor family in Orani, Bataan. The family lived in a small rented apartment in a rundown slum area. Vr's father was eventually granted a year-long scholarship for higher education in the United States, which led to a job promotion to a director position in the Department of Agriculture and Natural Resources upon his return. Due to cramped conditions in Tondo, Vr's father obtained a P-16,000 loan from the Government Service Insurance System, payable in 20 to 25 years, to build a home in San Rafael Village, Navotas. As a child, Vr initially attended Isabelo de los Reyes Elementary School, a nearby public school in Tondo. He also assisted his mother in selling shrimp and fish at the Divisoria Public Market, as early as age 6, in order to help earn the money to support his siblings and himself to school. However, accompanying his mother interfered with his education and he was forced to drop out from school during grade 1. He was then enrolled at Tondo Parochial School, later renamed Holy Child Catholic School, a private school in Tondo run by priests, to complete his elementary education. Vr finished his high school education at the Mapua Institute of Technology in Santa Cruz, adjacent to Tondo. He attended the University of the Philippines, Diliman and earned his bachelor's degree in business administration in 1970. He returned to the same school to earn his master's degree in business administration in 1973. He later characterized himself as being impatient with formal schooling, and eager to start working and go into business. Business career After obtaining his bachelor's degree, VR began his professional career working as an accountant for SISIP, Goras, Velio & Co., SGV & Co., the country's largest accounting firm. He resigned from SGV & Co. to start his first business, delivering seafood in Makati. However, when his largest customer was unable to pay him, he negotiated a debt restructuring of sorts, selling discounted meal tickets to office workers in exchange for receivables. He then worked briefly as a financial analyst for the Private Development Corporation of the Philippines, where his job was to sell World Bank loans. Wanting to start a business of his own again, he quit his job and availed of one of the loans, which offered attractive rates. In 1975, with an initial capital of 10,000 pesos, VR purchased two reconditioned trucks and started a business delivering sand and gravel for construction companies in Las Piñas. This eventually segued into building houses, as VR took out a seven-year loan from a rural bank offering low interest rates. From the loan, he kick-started building and selling homes at his first project, Camela Homes Phase 1 and 2 in Las Piñas, initially with 160 units and would have resulted to be the country's largest home-building company, with an emphasis on low-priced mass housing. A notable innovation of VR's companies was to sell house and lot packages, when the common practice at the time was to sell lots for future homeowners to build upon. He initiated mass housing projects through economies of scale, utilizing the cost advantages of developing a large-scale project in order to bring down housing prices. 
The number of homes built by Viar's companies totaled to over 200,000 units. In 1984, he founded Golden Haven Memorial Park, a chain of cemeteries in the Philippines, started with its first branch in Las Piñas and expanded in Cebu, Cagayan de Oro, Zamboanga, Bulacan, and Iloilo. It will also expand it into the businesses of Memorial Chapel, Crematorium, and Columbarium. In July 1995, Viar's flagship property, CP Homes, was listed on the Philippine Stock Exchange and grew by more than a third in one day, ballooning Viar's 80% stake in the company to $1.5 billion. Viar had concentrated on low cost housings, which were bought by the home buyers themselves, giving opportunities for the low and middle income Filipino families to acquire homes. He also wanted to set an example to Filipino entrepreneurs that what they set their mind on can be achieved. Vista Land and Lifescapes, Inc., a family owned business of VR, is also listed in the privately owned Philippine Stock Exchange. Their shares of stocks were bought primarily by foreign funds, which had given the government, as well as the PSE, good revenues. VR has received several awards for his achievements during his professional and business career, including being one of the 10 Outstanding Young Men in 1986, the Agora Award for Marketing Management in 1989, Most Outstanding CPA by the Institute of Certified Public Accountants in 1990, and Most Outstanding UP Alumnus in 1991. In 2004, he was named the most distinguished alumnus, the highest recognition given by the University of the Philippines Alumni Association. As of September 2018, Forbes magazine ranks him as the second wealthiest person in the Philippines, with his net worth of $5 billion or 269 billion pesos, 53.8 exchange rate. However, his Statements of Assets and Liabilities SALN, filed for the year 2012 states his net worth at P1.453 billion. In 2015, the VR Group formed another company, Vitacare Health Group, Inc., a group that will build chain of hospitals nationwide. Its first project, Vitacare Unimed Hospital and Medical Center, in partnership with Unimed, will be located in Vista City. Las Piñas will be fully operated in 2018. Many VR also ventured into coffee shop business, the coffee project which has now nine store across the country. Political career House of Representatives VR entered politics in 1992 when he was elected to the House of Representatives, representing the district of Las Piñas Muntinlupa. Due to congressional redistricting, he later represented the district of Las Piñas City. He served for three consecutive three-year terms, consistently posting landslide election victories. VR was chosen Speaker of the House of Representatives in 1998, during his third term in Congress. As Speaker, he presided over the impeachment of President Joseph Estrada over corruption allegations in November 2000. Along with a large group of lawmakers which include the Senate President, VR defected from Estrada's Laban ng Makabayang Masong Pilipino, LAMMP coalition in order to hasten the process of impeachment. Seconds after the opening prayer, and skipping the traditional roll call, he immediately read a resolution sending the impeachment case to the Senate for trial, bypassing a full vote and ignoring attempts by Estrada allies to delay the proceedings. Hours after the impeachment proceedings, congressmen allied with the president led a move to oust VR from his post as Speaker, replacing him with Camarines Sir Representative Arnulfo Fuentebella, an ally of President Estrada. In 2001, barred by constitutional term limits from seeking re election to a fourth term in the House of Representatives, VR was succeeded by his wife, Cynthia VR. Senate VR ran for senator in the 2001 election. Having recently resigned from Estrada's LAMMP coalition, he ran for senator as an independent politician, but campaigned as a member of the People Power Coalition, the administration coalition party which was supportive of the recent 2001 EDSA revolution. He was elected to the Senate with more than 11 million votes, ranking 7th out of 37 candidates. He later won re-election in 2007, running as a member of the Genuine Opposition Coalition, ranking 4th out of 37 candidates. In July 2006, VR was chosen Senate President, making him the first post-World War II public official to head both the House of Representatives and the Senate. He had previously held the position of Senate President pro tempore, as well as the chairmanship of the Committees on Finance, Foreign Relations, Public Order, and Committee on Agriculture and Fisheries. In November 2008, VR lost the support of the Senate majority, due to alleged fabricated accusations thrown on him by political enemies on the C5 project. 
He then resigned as President of the Senate and was succeeded by Juan Ponce Enrile who later on investigated VR for C5 scam. 2010 Presidential Campaign VR was a candidate for President of the Philippines in the May 2010 presidential election, as the standard bearer of the Nationalista Party. He filed his certificate of candidacy for president on November 30, 2009, along with his running mate, Senator Lauren Lagarda. His popular campaign line was, Sipag at Tayaga. Hard work and patience. The R's campaign platform includes combating poverty and corruption, two major problems between which he believes there is a strong link. According to a January 2010 survey by polling firm Pulse Asia and the February 2010 survey from social weather stations, VR was statistically tied in the lead with his main rival in the election, Senator Benigno Aquino III. In a March survey, rival Aquino had regained a significant nine point lead. Other significant rivals in the presidential race included former President Joseph Estrada and former Defense Secretary Gilbert Teodoro. During the presidential campaign, opinion columnist William Esposo claimed that VR has lied in his TV ads and could not have been poor because his younger brother Danny was admitted to Fu Hospital, which he claims was a top hospital at the time and in 1962, there was no bone marrow transplantation and chemotherapy yet and everyone whether rich or poor died from contracting leukemia. VR clarified that his brother was admitted as a charity patient, because the family was unable to afford treatment. Any family member, who is on the verge of death, will definitely be brought to the nearest possible hospital to try and save him, regardless of their status in life. VR placed third in the election, behind Senator Noinoy Aquino and former President Joseph Estrada. On May 11, 2010, a day after the election, VR was among the first to concede to Aquino. Offshore leaks during the ICIJ's International Consortium of Investigative Journalists expose of offshore leaks in April 2013, his name appeared on the list of wealthy people involved in offshore financial secrecy. It was revealed that he is hiding parts his wealth in tax havens at British Virgin Islands. Personal life in his third year of college at the University of the Philippines, VR became friends with Cynthia Aguilar, his classmate in the UP College of Business Administration. Her father was then mayor of Las Piñas City. They married at the age of 25. They have three children, Paolo, born c. 1977, eldest child and first of two sons, Mark born 1978, second of two sons, and Camille Linda, born c. 1985, youngest child and only daughter. VR's two sons studied at the Warden School of the University of Pennsylvania for their college education, while Camille attended Ateneo de Manila University. All three children graduated with degrees in finance or business management. Mark is a former representative of Las Piñas City and the current DPWH secretary, while Camille was formerly host Will Time Big Time then Wawa Willie. VR lives in a two-bedroom house with his family in Las Piñas City. In early 2010, a political smear was disseminated on the internet, claiming falsely that VR owned an extravagant mansion in the United States, which was debunked by Snopes.com. References External links Official website of Senator Manny VR Senate of the Philippines – Senator Manny VR I cite. Ph. Senator Manny VR.